I'll be demonstrating for you how to modify the character list in a production, including changing a character's assigned number, inserting a new character, and actually changing a character name, and all the things that are affected by those changes. I'll be using the sample script that's included with Scripty called Depth Perception. I've already got it open, so let's go straight to the character list. I'll click the script menu, then the characters menu. This is the complete list of all the characters in our script. Normally, you would enter the list of characters from a list you received from production that included the official number for each character. If you didn't enter it before importing a script, Scripty would have built this list assigning the numbers based on the order of appearance for characters with dialogue. Before we go into the details of how to modify this list, let's take a look at a couple of places where character names are used so we can see the effects of changes we'll make. I'm going to open the scenes list. I'll click the script menu, then the scenes menu. Here is a list of all the scenes in our script. Next, I'll double click on scene 1 to open the scene in a scene window. Next, I'll click on the characters tab to see the list of characters that are in the scene. You see we have two characters in the scene, Brianna and Sandy, and both are on screen. Next, I'll click the wardrobe tab. Notice that Brianna and Sandy are listed in the notes. Scripty automatically puts any on-screen characters into the notes for wardrobe, hair, makeup, and props. This allows you to make notes specific to each character and to build a smart list that will save you a lot of typing. But you'll learn more about that in another demonstration, so for now, let's go back to the character list and make some changes. Let's first add a new character to the list. I'll click the Add button, type the character's name, and press Tab. Scripty will assign the next available number for me, in this case number 9, and since Bob is a short name anyway, I'll use Bob for the abbreviation. Now that we have Bob in the list, let's add him to scene 1. He's a big star, so we're giving him a cameo. He'll just ad lib a line of dialogue. So back in scene 1, I'll click on the Characters tab. Next, I'll click the Add button. A window pops up so we can select the character that we want to add. I can type the character number or select the character name in the list. I'll select Bob from the list. He's at the bottom since we just added him. Next, I can indicate whether Bob will be on screen or off screen, and we'll leave Bob on screen, and I'll click Save. I don't have any other characters to add to the scene, so I'll click Done. Let's see what happened. Of course, Bob is now in our character list for the scene, but I'll also click on the Wardrobe tab. Bob has been added to the notes. The same holds true for hair, makeup, and props. If we had indicated that Bob was off screen, he would not have been added to the notes since being off screen we wouldn't, wouldn't care what he looks like. Now let's say we just got word that Bob checked into rehab and won't be able to appear in our film. So we'll delete him from our characters list. I'll click the delete button and you can see we're told that we need to close all open scene windows when deleting a character. I'll click OK and close the scene window after saving it. Now I can click the delete button again. I'm asked to confirm the deletion and I'll click yes. And Bob is removed from the list. But let's see what else has happened. I'll reopen scene one and click the characters tab. Bob is no longer in the list. Now I'll click the wardrobe tab. You can see that Bob has been removed from the notes as well. Okay, I'll close the scene window. Now, lucky for us, Bob just got out of rehab, and it turns out he only went into rehab because he was upset that he was number nine when we put him in the list and not number one. And we can get him back as long as he can be number one. So let's insert a character. I'll click on the character that already has the number we want to use, and that would be Brianna. Next, I'll click the Insert button. And again, we're prompted to confirm that we really want to use one for the new character and change the number of all the other characters. I'll click Yes and type Bob. Now let's verify the changes in Scene 1. Brianna and Sandy have been renumbered and the wardrobe, hair, makeup, 
and props notes have been updated as well. Now let's just change a character's number. I'll change Brianna to 13. I'll double click the number next to Brianna and type 13 and press return. And again I'm warned that I must close all the open scene windows. Let's close that window and let's try again. Double click, 13, press return and I'm asked to verify the change and I'll click yes. There, Brianna has a new number. Let's take a look. The number has been updated in the scene and the number is changed here as well. I'll close the scene window. Now finally let's change a character's name. I'll change Brianna to George. I'm asked if I want Scripty to also change the name in the script. I'll click yes in this case. I'll open scene one. Notice that George is now listed. I'll click the wardrobe tab and it's George. Now I'll click the script button and we'll take a look at the script. Notice the dialogue for George and notice the references to George in the action. This feature should be used carefully and the script and scene notes should be reviewed carefully after making such a drastic change. Well that concludes this demonstration on working with characters.